for competency number 15, we are going to discuss determining or obtaining the equation of the given quadratic function. So, in here, the given could be either the graph, zeros, or table of values. In quadratic function, x-intercept are also called zeros. Remember, when we discuss the x-intercept, sabi natin, x-intercept are the values of x that will make the function be equal to 0. So, if we have y equals x squared minus 6x plus 8, and we are going to look for the x-intercept, it means that y must be equal to zeros. And for whatever value of x this, those are the x-intercept. And these are also called zeros of quadratic function. Because again, these are the values of x that will make the function be equal to 0. So, suppose you are asked to find the zeros of y equals x squared minus 6x plus 8, meaning to say y must be equal to 0 or the function must be equal to 0. To be able to do that, as you can see here, we have a quadratic equation. So, to solve for the x-intercept or zeros, you are just going to solve the given equation. And to solve the equation, you can use either factoring, completing the square, extracting the square root, or using the quadratic formula. But since this one is factorable, let us factor it out. The correct factors are x minus 2 and x minus 4. Then zero product property, equate each factor by zero, then solving for x, meaning to say the values of x are 2 and 4. This means that 2 and 4 are the x-intercept and also 2 and 4 are the zeros of the quadratic function. But for today's lesson, what if the given are the zeros? You are going to determine the quadratic function. So, suppose the given is this one. Find the quadratic function whose zeros are 2 and 4, just like what we have here. This time around, we are looking for the function. So, what we will be doing is we are just going to work backwards of what we did here. What I'm trying to say is, if I have the functions or the 0, 2, and negative 4, and go, you are going to get the quadratic function, you all know that 2 and 4 are the values of x that will make y be equal to 0. So we can write it as y equals x minus 2 and x minus 4. What we did here is we express our roots or our zeros as factor. Take note, if you have x minus 2 equals 0, diba? we have x is equal to 2 if we are going to solve. That's why x equals 2 here becomes x minus 2. Did you get it? That's why x equals 4 becomes x minus 4. Then after expressing it as factor, you are going to multiply it by using FOIL method. So we have x times x, that's x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 4, that is positive 8. Then you are going to simplify or combine similar terms and that will give us y equals x squared minus 6x plus 8. Just like what we have here, y equals 6x plus 8. You have to remember that the quadratic equation that you obtained earlier is not the only quadratic function containing the zeros. Now, if we are going to grab the quadratic function that we obtained, we have here x squared minus 6x plus 8. You are going to see that this will be the graph. The zeros are 2 and 4. But what if we have another function, which is y equals... Let us try to write it here. We have y equals negative, si negative x squared plus 6x minus 8. What have you noticed with our graph? Okay, you are going to notice that the graph opens downward because the value of a is less than 0. But in terms of zeros, what have you, what have you noticed? Yes, they have the same zeros. Let's have another one. If we have y equals, this time around, let us have 2x squared minus 
12x. Then we have plus 16. 2x squared minus 12x plus 16. What happened to the graph? You are going to notice that the value of A increases. That's why the graph becomes, becomes narrower. But in terms of the zeros, it has the same zeros. We have 2 and 4. Lastly, let's have another one. We have y equals, let us have negative this time around. Let's have negative 3x squared. Let's have negative 3x squared plus 18x plus 18x and then minus 24. Negative 3x squared plus 18x, we have minus 24. What happened to the graph? Yes, if you are going to notice, the A, the absolute value of A, increases. That's why it becomes narrower also. But again, it has the same zeros, which are 2 and 4. Which means that all of these quadratic functions have the same zeros, which are 2 and 4. And we call this family of quadratic function. Let us have one more example. Find a quadratic function whose zeros are negative one-half and three. This means that x is equal to negative one-half and x is equal to three. The next thing that we are going to do is we have to write it as factors. How did we get to x plus one? If you have x equals negative one-half, we just solve it backward. So this became 2x by cross multiplying and then equals and then we have negative 1. And then what we do is to write it on the other side. That's why we have 2x plus 1. That's why we have 2x plus 1 there. Did you get it? Okay. And now x equals 3 becomes x minus 3. After writing uh, it as factors, you are going to multiply it using FOIL method. So we have 2x times x, that's 2x squared. Then we have 2x times negative 3, that's negative 6x. And then 1 times x is x. Negative 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Then we are going to simplify similar terms that will lead us to y equals 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. But then again, as we discuss, this is only one of the function whose roots or with roots negative one half and three. There are other quadratic functions with the same roots. Now, this time around, let us determine the equation of the quadratic function if the given is the graph. If this is your graph, can we use the zeros to get the quadratic function? If you are going to notice, the zeros here are negative 3 and 1. Can we use the zeros? Let us see. If we are going to use the zeros, meaning to say we have negative 3 and 1, write it as factors, multiply using FOIL method, this will be our function. Is this function correct in relation to our, to our graph? Definitely not because our graph opens downward. So it means it has a value of A of less than 1 or negative. An A which is less than 0 or negative numbers. That is why if the given is the graph, we are not going to use the zeros. So the question is, what are the characteristics on the graph that you will be using to be able to identify the quadratic function. If the given is the graph, we will be using the vertex and a point on the parabola. If you are going to look at our graph, then the vertex is, yes, the vertex is here and that is negative 1, 4. Meaning to say the value of H is negative 1 and the value of K is 4. And since we have here H and K, we are going to write the function in the form of Y equals A times the quantity X minus H squared plus K. We will be substituting the value of H and K. And if we do that, 
our h is negative 1, so we have x plus 1 squared. Our k is 4, so we have here plus 4. But if you are going to look at here, we do not have the value of a. We have to find the value of a to complete our quadratic function. And to be able to get the value of a, we will be using a point on our parabola. If we are going to put, or, or if we are going to choose a point, let us choose this one. You can choose any points here, but let us try to choose this one. And this point is negative 3, 0, meaning to say the value of x is negative 3 and the value of y is 0. What are you going to do next? Yes, using this one, take note, we have here our a, we write there. We have plus 1 squared there, and then we have our 4. We just rewrite this one, but this time around, we substitute the value of x and y. Our x is negative 3, so we have negative 3 here, and then our y is 0. That's why we have 0 there. Did you get it? Again, for this step, what did we do? We just write this one the same exactly by substituting the value of x and y. And then after this, you need to simplify. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4 times a is 4a. If we simplify further, that is 4a equals negative 4. So the value of a is negative 1. We already have the value of a. So we are going to put it here. Just like in this one, we have this. Pareho lang yan, but this time around, we are going to substitute yung nakuha nating value ng a. So, our quadratic function is, we have y equals, the value of a is negative 1, quantity x plus 1 squared plus 4. And this is our final answer. y equals negative 1, quantity x plus 1 squared plus 4. Let us have one more example for you to understand it better. Again, if you have a vertex and a point, a problem like this one, obtain the quadratic function whose vertex is at 4, negative 5, and passes through the point, negative 1, 4. How are you going to solve or to obtain the quadratic equation using the vertex, which is 4, negative 5? Therefore, the value of h is 4, and the value of k is negative 5. We are going to substitute the value of h and k in this form. So it will become y equals a times the quantity x minus 4 because h is 4 and then minus 5 because k is negative 5. Again, we are going to look for the value of a by using the given by using the given point. Our point is negative 1, 4. So meaning to say the value of x is negative 1 and the value of y is 4. Using this y equals negative 4. That's why we have 4 there. And then x equals negative 1. So we have negative 1 there. Then we are going to simplify. We have negative 1 minus 4. That would be negative 5. If you are going to square negative 5, that is 25 times a is 25a and then minus 5. If we simplify further, we will be having 25a equals 9. Then to simplify, we need to divide both sides by 25. And if we do that, the value of a is 9 over 25. So we are going to complete this one wherein we have y equals a quantity x minus 4 squared minus 5. We are going to substitute the value of a. Therefore, the final answer will be y equals 9 over 25 quantity x minus 4 squared minus 5. Lastly, what if the given is the table of values? If this is our table of values, that will be easy for us. Tingnang mabuti. Okay, negative 3, umulit dyan. We have 0, umulit dyan. What do we mean if the table of values is like this one? It means that this is our vertex. And then, we can now use vertex and a point. 
Meaning to say, we can use this 1, negative 4 for our vertex. And then you are just going to choose any of these points for the values of x and y. Just like what we did the earlier. Now, the problem is, what if the given is this point? wherein you cannot identify which is the vertex. If you have like this, given are the three points, you are just going to follow the steps. Let us see, one by one, these steps, let us follow, let us have this example. So if we have this table of values, step number one, you are going to use the points to create equation 1, 2, and 3 by substituting in y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Our first point is this first pair, which is 1, 3. So this will be our equation 1. Again, our coordinates is 1, 3, meaning to say your x is equal to 1 and your y is equal to 3. You are going to substitute here y, that's why you have here 3, and then x is 1. Again, we have here y is 3 and then x is 1. You substitute it and simplify. 1 squared is 1 times a is a, b times 1 is b, and then plus c. This is our equation 1. Let us have equation 2. This time around, we are going to use the second pair, which is 2, 1. In here, the value of y is 1 and the value of x is 2. And then if we are going to simplify, 2 squared is 4 times a is 4a, 2 times b is 2b, and then plus c, this will be our equation 2. And for the last coordinate pair, we have 3, negative 5. In this, card, in this point, our y is negative 5 and our x is 3. And if we simplify, we will be having, we have neg 3 squared, that is 9 times a is 9a, 3 times b is 3b, and then plus c. This is our equation number 3. Again, for equation number 1, what are you going to do? You are going to use this ordered pair to find the value or to create equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3 by simply substituting the value of x and y in y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. For step number 2, so that is our step number 1. For step number 2, you are going to solve by elimination using equation 1, 2, and the resulting equation will be equation number 4. What do we mean by that? This is our equation 1. There you have it. This is our equation 2. There you have it. We have two equations, meaning to say this is systems of linear equation. To solve Systems of linear equation, one way is solving by elimination. In solving by elimination, you can do it elimination by addition or elimination by subtraction. In this one, let us use solving by addition. Now, if you are going to solve elimination by addition, if you are going to look at these two linear equation, can we eliminate something? May ma eliminate ba tayo? Okay, wala. We can only eliminate if it has the same coefficient and the same variable. One is positive and the other one is negative. If you are going to look at here, we have C and then C. Meron na tayong parehong coefficient. We're in the coefficient. Okay, we have one there. Ano na lang ang problema natin? Hindi natin yan ma-eliminate because it is both positive. We can only eliminate if one is positive and the other one is negative. So, what are we going to do para may, ma may ma eliminate tayo? Yes, we need to multiply this by negative 1. And if we do that, anong mangyayari? It will just change all the signs. So, it, this will become negative, 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 and negative. It will become this 1. And then, you are just going to copy this one. Kinopya lang natin. Okay, ko kopyahin lang natin. Now, if you are going to look at this, we can only add this and we can eliminate variable C. So, let us add it. What will happen? 
Yes, makakancel yan. And if we add it, the result is negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Negative A plus 4A is 3A. Negative B plus 2B is positive B. And this will be our equation number 4. That is step number 2. For step number 3, just like what we did here, but this time around, we will be using equation 2 and 3 to create equation number 5. Again, this is equation number 2. There you have it. Then, this is your equation number 3. That is your equation number 3. Since we eliminate variable C here, we have to eliminate also variable C here. But again, we cannot eliminate because both is both is positive. So, we have to multiply this by negative 1. And if you do that again, you are just going to change all this sign. So, this will become negative, 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 and negative. It will give us negative 1 equals negative 4a minus 2b minus c. And then, you are just going to copy this one also, just like what we did earlier. So, let us copy. If you are going to look at here, we can eliminate already variable C. So, let us add it. May eliminate na yang C. So, what's left is 1, negative 1, negative 5, that is negative 6, negative 4, and positive 9A, that is 5A, and then negative 2B plus 3B, that is plus B. And then, this will be our equation number 5. Again, for equation number 2, use 1 and 2. The resulting will be equation number 4. And then for step number 3, use equation 2 and 3 to create equation number 5. So these are again our equation 1. I steps 1, 2, and 3. Let us proceed with step number 4. Solve by elimination. This time around, we will be using equation number 4 and equation number 5. This is our equation number 4. So that is our equation number 4. This is our equation number 5. Let us write it, our equation number 5. This time around, we are going to eliminate what variable? Yes, we can eliminate B by changing the sign of B doon sa ating taas. And how are we going to do that? We need to multiply it by negative 1 para ma-eliminate natin ang B. If you multiply it by negative 1, it will become 2. The negative here will become positive. The positive will become negative. The positive will become negative. And then, what will happen next? You are going to copy this one. There you have it. And then, what will happen here? Pwede nang eliminate ang B. We can add it. Again, may eliminate na yung B. Anong mangyayari? You add 2 plus negative 6. That is negative 4. And you add negative 3 plus 5A. That is 2A. If you are going to look at here, negative 4 equals 2A. From here, we can already, we can already solve for A. By what? By dividing both sides by 2. Two. And if we do that, what will be the value of A? The value of A will be negative 2. So we are now, or we already have the value of A. Now, if we have a value, pwede na tayong pumunta sa step number 5. We are going to get the remaining coefficients. We already have A, B, A. So hahanapin na natin, meron na tayong A. Hahanapin na lang natin is B and C. Now, how are we going to get the remaining coefficients? Let's have this one. Okay, can we get the value of B using equation 1, 2, and 3? Come to think of it, can we use equations 1, 2, and 3 to solve for B? Hindi, kasi ang meron pa lang tayo is the value of A. Hindi natin makukuha ang B kasi wala pa rin tayong C. Anong ibig sabihin nun? It means we can only use either equation, equation 4 or equation 5 to solve for the value of B. Tingnang mabuti ang dalawa. Alin ang mas convenient gamitin? Siyempre, mas convenient to kasi mas maliit yung numbers dyan. So, let us use equation 4 to solve for B. How are you going to solve for B? Using the value of A, isa-substitute lang natin yung value ng 
A. Let us substitute the value of A. Again, our A is negative 2, so we substitute negative 2 for A. If we simplify, definitely that is negative 6. And if we simplify further, our B is equal to 2. So we already have A. We already have B. Ano na lang ang kulang natin? Yes, ang kulang na lang natin is the variable C. So, pwede natin gamitin ang equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. Kasi meron na tayong A at saka B. Pero tingnang mabuti ang 1, 2, and 3. Alin sa tingin nyo ang mas madaling gamitin? Siyempre, mas madaling gamitin yung equation number 1. So, let us use Equation number 1 to solve for C. So, we have 3 equals A plus B plus C. Anong gagawin? You are just going to substitute the value of A and the value of B to solve for C. Let us substitute. So, we have A, that's negative 2. B, that is 4 and then plus C. If we simplify further, negative 2 plus 4, that is and if we simplify again, the value of C is 1. So again, A is negative 2, B is 4, and C is 1. May A, B, and C na tayo. Anong gagawin natin? Using Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C, isa substitute natin ng A, B, and C. Therefore, our quadratic function is, what will be our quadratic function? Yes, since A is negative 2, so we have negative 2x squared. Our B is positive 4, so plus 4x, and then our C is 1, so we have plus 1. So the quadratic function is y equals negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. Yes, mahaba ang ating solution. If you will be asking kung meron tayong shortcut dyan, Sad to say, wala. You need to follow each and every step to obtain the quadratic function. Sige, let us have one more example para mas makasunod tayo. This time around, okay. Kung ang inyong table of values ay maraming pairs, wala namang problema. Then you are just going to choose three points. Again, if there are many pairs in the table of values, you just need three points. So, if this is our three points, step number one, we are going to create one, two, and three using these points, yes, by substituting x and y to y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Let us do it. Our first pair will be, that is negative three and two. So, the value of y is two and the value of x is negative three. If we use that, simplify, negative 3 squared is 9 times A is 9A. Negative 3 times B is negative 3B, then copy plus C. And this is your equation 1. Let us use our second pair. What is our second point or second ordered pair? That is negative 2, negative 1. So the value of Y is negative 1 and the value of x is negative 2 and if we simplify negative 2 squared is 4 times a is 4a b times negative 2 is negative 2b and then copy plus c this is our equation number 2 and then let us use the last pair for our equation number 3 this time around the value of x is negative 2 and the value of y is negative 1 if we simplify it, negative 1 squared is 1 times A is A. B times negative 1 is negative B and then copy plus C. And this is our equation number, equation number 3. So we are done with step number 1. For step number 2, you are going to use equation 1 and 2 to create equation number 4. So this is your equation number 1. That is your equation number one. There you have it. And this is your equation two. Okay, there you have it. What are you going to do? We are going to eliminate the variable C. So one must be negative. So anong gagawin natin? Yes, we are going to multiply the first equation by negative one. And if we do that, what will happen? 
it will change all the sign. And then you are just going to copy this one. Okay, you copy. What will happen here? If we are going to add, this will be canceled out. So what will be the answer? That is negative 2, negative 1 is negative 3, negative 9a plus 4a is negative 5a. And then we have negative 3b minus 2b is positive b. That is why this is our equation number 4. And then step number 3, we will be using equation number 2 and 3 to create equation number 5. This is our equation. Equation 2 is there. Equation 3 is this one. Again, since we eliminate variable C here, tatanggalin din natin ang variable C to be able to do that. Anong gagawin? Katulad ng ginawa dito, we need to multiply this by negative 1. And if we do that, bababago lahat ng sign. And then, copy again this one. There you have it. What will happen if we add it? Maka-cancel na natin yung C. Then we have negative 1 plus negative 1 plus negative 2. That is that is that is negative 1. And then we have negative 4a plus a. That is negative 3a. And then we have 2b plus negative b. That is positive B. And this is our equation number 5. I hope we can follow. You can follow. So let us continue. Again, that is our step 1, 2, and 3. Let us proceed with step number 4. This time around, let us use equation 4 and 5. This is our equation number 4. And this is our equation 5. There you have our equations 4 and 5. This time around, which variable you are going to eliminate? Yes, we will be eliminating variable B. And how are we going to do that again? Yes, we need to multiply this by negative 1. If you do that, you just change all the signs. So, yung negative dito magiging positive at yung positive ay magiging negative. After changing the sign, you are going to copy this one. And if you are done copying, pwede na nating i-cancel yan. Then we are going to simplify. So we have what will happen. 3 plus negative 1, that is positive 2. And then 5 minus 3a, that is 2a. And if you are going to look at here, we can already solve for a by dividing both sides by 2. And if you do that, the value of a is 1. So, meron na tayong value ng A. Kukunin na lang natin ay B at saka C. So, let us complete all the coefficients. Again, you look at equation number 4 and number 5. Alin ang mas madaling gamitin sa dalawa? Yes, mas madaling gamitin ang equation 5 kasi mas maliit na number ang naan So, let us use equation number 5. What are we going to do? We are going to substitute the value of A. If we do that, then we have A is 1, 3 times, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. If we simplify, then B is equal to 2. Meron na tayong A, meron na tayong B, kulang na lang natin ay C. Tingnan ng equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. Alin ang pinakamadaling gamitin para makuha ang C? Yes, definitely. Ito ang pinakamadali, equation 3. So, we will be using equation 3. Anong gagawin natin to get the value of C? We are going to substitute the value of A, which is 1, and the value of negative I, B, which is 2. And if we do that, and if we simplify, the value of C will become negative 1. Meron na natin yung A, B, and C. What are you going to do? You are going to substitute it into Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C. And if you do that, then our, qua our quadratic function will be Y equals your A is 1. No need to write 1. So you have X squared. Your B is 2. So plus 2X, your C is negative 1. So minus 1. Our quadratic function is y equals x squared plus 2x minus 1. I hope it's clear. 
So again, in determining the equation of the quadratic function, if the given are the zeros, what are you going to do? You are going to write the zeros and factors, then multiply using FOIL method to obtain y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And again, we have the so-called family of quadratic function. There are a lot of functions containing the same zeros. If the given is the graph, anong gagamitin? Get the vertex and then use a point to obtain y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. And then lastly, if the given are or is the table of values, you are going to use the following steps. That will be competency number 15. I hope everything is clear. Thank you for watching.